Beautiful people, thank you as always, and welcome back to another episode of the Ignite Your Purpose show, podcast, vlog, chinwen session, chin wag session. Uh, we talk daily, longevity through healthy lifestyle, longevity through a healthy lifestyle. That includes the mental, physical, spiritual knowledge, the mind, body, soul, trifecta. Without one, you don't have the other. It is that simple. By now, you damn well know I am the storyteller, where I take daily events and occurrences that happen in my life, and not through judgment, not through being trying to be better or worse. I simply try and analyze through the Soto Zen practice that I have and make myself a better human being. Just try and learn. I just simply try and learn. And through those lessons, I try and spit them right back at you so that hopefully you can, you know, be on your way to being more positive, being more, being better than you were yesterday. It's that simple. Beautiful people. On that note, as always, a little bit of a rant today. Not so much a rant, but got to get it off my chest. Because in some of the shows I've told you, man, I had a massive awakening kind of come up during the solstice, and I'm just done. I'm just done with faking the funk. I'm done with not being real to myself. And by not being real to myself, I'm not being real to others. So I want to share something with you. And please feel free to give me your feedback, all right? Now, I'm coming from a spot of A, non-judgment. I don't really think I'm judging myself or anybody else because I'm not. I want you to understand that I'm not coming from a spot of looking for anybody else's okay here. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm saying what happened as an occurrence with me, and I got some feedback from some others, and I'll just basically tell you how the story went. But what would you do in that situation? You know? And the story goes like this. Somebody's birthday, time to chat, there's a big party, big uh, conference type thing. We'll call it a conference. That's what it was. Conference style uh, party, M meet, the, meet the female who I've known for a hot minute now. All right? Cool girl, love her to death, all good in the hood. Now, she's been going through her own trials and tribulations with health especially, all right? And I've been dealing, and I've been helping, and I've been doing everything in my power to provide knowledge and accountability and just support, all right? And, you know, maybe for a month she'll, she'll be on, and then she falls off. And I mean, when she falls off, I don't hear from her for six to eight months to a year type deal, all right? And then it happens all over again. Right? It's just this never ending circle. And I've made myself very available to her for probably three to five years. All right. So I think I've gone for myself above and beyond duty. All right. You've heard this, this story before. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. Now with the awakening I kind of had or the realization I had lately where I'm just kind of done. Now I know my purpose. I know what I'm here for. I know how valuable time is. And if somebody's not going to take themselves seriously, should I continue to? All right. So face-to-face -to -face meeting, give the hug, give the love. And she wants to start talking about her new journey. She's found this guru. She's going to start following. She did, 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 did. And after about a minute and a half, I excused myself. I was just like, got to go, baby girl. I didn't say that, but you know what I mean? I was just like, I'm out. I got to go. I've heard this broken record. It's on fucking repeat. Excuse my French. I'm tired of it. All right. I'm tired of it. I'm, I, I'm tired of myself bullshitting myself. All right. So I excuse myself. Now, two of my business partners came over and said, man, what are you doing? She knows so-and-so and blah, 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 blah. That was rude. I was like, rude. You know, you could have, you could have put on that face and just done your thing. You have to understand what I did was I went and talked to somebody else. All right. Who's, a, who's a, a brother from another mother, great man. And me and him start conversating and we're making plans for 2019. So I used my time wisely to further myself, my cause, my purpose, my dreams, my hopes, my goals and aspirations. Instead of wasting my time, all right, dealing with bullshit that may or may not happen again and again and again. Now, I really hope for that beautiful woman that this is the last time it ever, she ever falls off the wagon and she, she stays on the straight and narrow and, and takes it to the stars. I truly hope for that. You know what I mean? So I'm not coming from a place of judgment. I simply just thought, you know what? Life is short. I've heard the story. 
I have heard this story 150 times now for the last five years. Why am I going to sit around and hear it again? And I excuse myself as a gentleman. I was not rude. And it's funny because there are expectations in our society. There are requirements. There are things other people put on you to be of the norm. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. You know, you're just supposed to buy somebody a Valentine's Day gift for Valentine's Day. Who said that? I, I just don't get that. And it's looked upon negatively if you don't. Oh, you didn't buy your man nothing? Oh, damn. You know what I mean? It's, it's us who are the gatekeepers and the policemen in the societal norms. Do you know what I mean? It is, once you truly step back and almost look at it from a matrix point of view, you start seeing it for what it actually is. And we're just a bunch of jail guards running around making sure everybody's doing what the normal is. I don't want to be normal anymore, right? I wish for the best for those who want the best for themselves. But having said that, at some point, you got to drop that dead weight. You know what I mean? And that's what I did. I took flack for it. Um, so much so that there was actually a little bit of a, not an argument, but I, I fought for my point. You know what I mean? To the point where they actually gave a little and was like, no, I see what you're saying. Cool. We hugged. We loved it. It was all good. That's also where I'm saying to you the point of when you become confident in yourself and you don't need other people's permissions, opinions, and okays, and daps, and loves, and way it goes, and pats on the backs, and all that bullshit, fake shit that's out there, you can truly get on with what you're here, what you're here to do on this beautiful planet. On that note, I'm going to leave you. I want to thank you as always for joining the show. The storyteller is then telling the story for today. I will see you tomorrow. Do your best, forget the rest, and I am out.